and let's continue. Hello, Jenny. Oh, you missed the earlier, um, you missed the slightly earlier part of the stream this morning. Hank shot us in the head. Hank shot Connor in the head. So the storyline is so far, we've been investigating. The relationship between Hank and Connor has continued to deteriorate. But uh, on the other hand, Marcus is leading a violent robot revolution. Yeah, Hank's um Hank's not doing well. He's sort of he's sort of playing Russian roulette with himself at night and trying to drink himself to death. And I have no time for his frail human emotions. In fact, this looks like it's going to be a confrontation scene. So Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body. Oh, his these may be the policemen that we have executed with Marcus. In cold blood with his own service weapon. Yep, we did this. Came a father three months ago. Fuck. Why did it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but he seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. All right. How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I don't know why we're here. Here we are. So obviously we're following some lead. I don't know why or where this lead came from. Also, check out Hank's shirt. Man. That, it's like two different shirts. Oh. It's Menu uh, Lady. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. You know, the android should really check for identification before letting people into the house. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Oh, is this a place where um someone has a portrait of themselves? Oh, also during the investigation of a broadcast, because we went to... I just realized, look at the way that the jacket... The folds on the jacket nice move as we walk. An RT-600. The first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. I was saying that she was nice, Hank. This is how androids nice compliment place. each other. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Oh, the jacket twists. You're I'm sort of like mesmerized suddenly. How's it feel? I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes um, I wish I could meet my we also saved place. Hank's life as well, though, in the previous. I have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Why do you want me to be nice to Hank? He's just a... he's just a lonely old man. Just waiting for the inevitability of the robot uprising, which is descending, which I am... which I am leading... powerfully, and with... great assurance. Elijah, we'll see you now. Why do we step backwards? Oh, it's because Hag needs to go in first. Uh, well, this, this is horrifying. Oh, I thought it was blood just for a, a second. Moment, please. I thought this was just a swimming pool full of blood. It's like a real Peter Thiel type. How many models of the same android does this guy own? 
Jenny says, yes, a robot harem, clearly. Oh, and yes, we met a waifu bot. You missed out on the, um, we went to a robot strip club. You know, Jenny, the technical term for a female android is a gynoid. Not a femdroid. Are they talking to each other? Their mouths are moving, but there's no sound. I don't think we're meant to be seeing that. Ah, the top knot. This I'm has become the Anderson. top villain Just haircut of 2018. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. <laughs> You're I know a you pervert. Several life years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. Well, you know just, free will. you're not very modest now, are you? Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. We want war! All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? That was Listen, not a response to what to I just told philosophy. you. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. Yes, we've been but making you. Connor a good robot boy. Good robot boy. He's been obeying every command. What do you really want? I want Hank. I believe we're the ones asking the questions. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. I am very Person excellent test. at empathy and mathematics. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young. Um, I am going never. to assume that in this scene, David Cage will, will make this android, this guy, murder this what robot. Is really? He's a plastic containing human? Or a living being? Yeah, he's going to get some gun so because this is so... Oh. Good oh my god, David Cage. It's oh my god. Fascinating question, Connor. Do you have to bloody Oh it's half the time it's so predictable. Machine, and, I'll tell you how I know. and it's so like spirit, Yeah, it's so blade runner. If you feel it so well, And you know that was pretty um But you'll leave here without Some work, of those scenes were pretty from. gross. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you. I, I don't know why Hank is so anxious about this because we or the life of this in, in a previous scene Hank shot us in the head so I don't see what Sorry, his problem you is are an obedient machine or a living being why don't I shoot you endowed with free will I want to shoot you that's enough and the Connor robot and Hank Connor don't and I'll tell you what you want to know Oh well. Fuck! Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. Connor has to be a good boy. As stupid as that is. Also, now he has to pay for a new I'm android. My word. Ask one question, I'll tell you all I know. No, Connor is not a friendly, cooperative boy. 
want to know who RA9 is. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's the Messiah. This is some real Neil Stephenson enough. stuff. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. I have more questions. Just ask more questions. A war is coming. He's not allowed to ask side. more than one question. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? Why does he seem so intent on pushing me into the hole? And having to choose between two evils. Ugh. He's like a really um low rent version of uh Jared Leto's character in Blade Runner. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It you shot me. A girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains You out. you literally did, did the same to thing to me. The investigation and I do it again if I had. To. You're a low life. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were my friend. I thought we could be lovers. I don't... I'm, I'm not buying this. Like, how... How can Hank be... It's, it's as if the previous scene where he shot us didn't happen. Ugh. Ugh, do you see that awkward grimace? Hank was disappointed. Look at the little thumbnail for Hank was disappointed. Rah! Rah! You're a machine! 14%. So how many people sh... Oh, he agrees to answer one question. Okay. Kamsky is cryptic. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, so most people choose not to shoot Chloe. That's amazing. So only 14% of people choose to... Wow, these people are really empathizing with machines. I'm really worried about the future of the world when the robot uprising admittedly does happen and all these humans we already have are sympathizers. Jenny. Jenny, you love Hank. Well, maybe you can get this game and you can play nice, nice, nice boys with, with Hank and Connor. Let's read this. You love his shaggy hair. Android Riot. Let's read, read about our riot. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night. <gasps> Android perpetrators. Worst incident, Capitol Park. Thought to be some kind of behavioral bug. This allegation of blah blah blah. A disturbing and perplexing pattern. Oh. Why are we here? Where are we? See, also every scene that involves Marcus now has become con increasingly ungrounded. Like, he's taken on this kind of... Uh, he's the robot messiah. No, I want to smash the mirror against the wall and go... THE MIRROR! Life is suffering. Being Madoka is suffering. <laughs> D 
this is my kingdom. I'm surveying my kingdom. So we also made a series of demands last time. One of which was to take over control of all robot production facilities. I was wondering where you were. Um, North also changed her hair color. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We've well, it's my of our spot now. Still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Oh yeah, it's she's it's a changing. she's a waifu bot. Turns out, and um, you seem yeah, we kissed her last time, and she didn't like it. It was a clever stratagem. Uh, Yesterday, when we set fire to that place, uh, all that chaos. Yes, flames. all the chaos, the flames. It feels so good. The moment, I enjoyed it. Of course. The power, the violence, and I hate myself for feeling. No, annoyed. no, throw away your. Your pathetic the about regrets. The humans are terrified. Yeah, North is really into the whole um, violence and Many of our people violent uprising thing. What happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. And yet we follow you. <laughs> what was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. Let's ask about what your wife who bought escapades. You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to assume that Marcus, um, the... That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Marcus is, um, going to... Uh, confront his former master, and we're going to have to make the choice of to kill him or not, because that's... Okay. If you don't want to talk about it, then we won't. What? My life started when I arrived in Jericho. <laughs> okay, so she wanted to talk. What happened before is my business. <gasps> We've unlocked the companion path. Yeah, I, I accidentally let that dialogue option time out, so that was my fault. Oh, oh it's, it's, all, it's fine. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show Um, you. Jenny. <laughs> this place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, okay, so... Please don't do this. They'll understand. It looks like I'm wearing the Star we'll Trek uniform. Understand. This is the only way. What are we doing? Rally your people, convert more androids. Androids here who can join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Oh man, I'd love one of those bikes. Check out the wheels on that bike. It's too expensive. You're free. Also, I have some strange ability to flip androids. Ooh. Is he an android? Let's do an android. You're awake now. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're woking people. Think about it. Androids are everywhere, and they listen to everything. Come with us. <laughs> we're going on an adventure. 
seems so confused. Have we got any more? You're free. <laughs> yeah, they really... I, I'm just... I don't really care. I'm just converting to have an army of androids to destroy this terrible trash society that is built up. I mean, how much human cruelty would you have to have? This is what troubles me about this game, is that it doesn't ever explain how we got up to this point. Because we don't casually treat animals, right, with such cruelty. And I find it unlikely that we would treat robots with the same kind of cruelty. But apparently, um, this is the society that's emerged. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. Shoot him. You stay right here, you fucking... Nice. I need to block the street. Hey, tortoise shell. This isn't awkward, we're just going around touching people. And when we touch them, their eyes get real wide. And then they obey our every command, just like in real life. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You're free. <laughs> Look at this traffic jam. More. More. I must be the king of androids. You're free. That's my favorite model of Android that I've seen so far. I just like that hair. And she's pretty. Any more? I know this is a bad instinct, but I just want to convert everyone before I open that manhole cover. Like, I want the maximum number of androids so that when the killing starts <laughs> yes Jenny see Jenny has been converted to the cause of the androids ah <sighs> fine fine we'll open the manhole cover Convert more androids, yes, I can do that, definitely. Oh, can we do this wirelessly now? Is that... You're free now. Okay, so well, why do we go around touching people then? What a waste of time. <laughs> Oi, get over here! Hey look, there's more coming. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I wanna feel dirty. March? <laughs> Wait, I want more androids first. Okay, no. All right. So again, we got this um civil rights analog here. You guys are following, right? <laughs> he checks over his shoulder nervously. I look like a real goof if you guys don't follow me. I hope they just smash through the windows to come out here. This is a bit like getting the gravity gun in Half-Life 2. 
like suddenly I can just now destroy and I was also thinking about like why this game's sort of analogy for the civil rights movement is so flimsy compared to say um when say watching black panther and that talked about the sort of central debate between say martin luther king and malcolm x about non-violent versus violent revolution and i and i came to the conclusion that the reason why this doesn't really do it as effectively is that in black panther it tried to mount a convincing case for both sides of why why you would want violent revolution versus why it's it's a you know it's a sort of privilege to kind of sit back and not do anything uh, or be pacifistic um because you had those characters that you sort of empathized with and you sort of saw their both their points of view when you had that context whereas this game has has kind of more like it almost feels like well both approaches could work right you could go pacifist you could go violent and the game will just accommodate you and um just to, to tell you that story Wait, does putting my hands up mean that he's less likely to shoot us? Because I want to start a riot here. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... Am I just converting people? They're yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. This is this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I want. I where's the? I thought we were gonna have a yes. Yes, here come the police. Now the music changes. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is what I came for. Excellent. Okay. Oh. We Things are going to go down. Peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. Um. Speak We've for no yourself. Harm. We have no intention of doing any. Um, we speak for yourself. We're not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's yes. more of us. We can take them. Yes. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it We have the dying. upper hand. This entire society will collapse once we stop. This once we attack. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Shut up. 